Hello again and thank you for visiting us here at LD Carlson. My name is Travis Sessions, part of the LD Carlson education team. And today we're going to be talking about what's all that stuff in my beer kit and what does it do? Today we're going to be looking at three different Brewer's Best Ingredients kits, starting with an India Pale Ale, an American Pale Wheat, and our limited edition Sweet Dreams Almond Coconut Stout. While these are wildly different styles of beer, you'll find that they have a lot more in common than it seems on the surface. Upon opening any Brewer's Best kit, the first thing you'll always see is documentation on how to produce that particular kit. These instructions will be a step-by-step -step process in a uniform format regardless of the kit. If this is your first time brewing a kit, we highly recommend you take advantage of the free trial issue of Brew Your Own or Winemakers Magazine. This is the collective knowledge of home brewers and home winemakers from around the nation put together in one fantastic magazine. These are jam-packed with additional tips and tricks learned from all over the nation on producing fantastic beer or wine at home. To stay up to date with the latest on Brewers Best, please check www brewersbestkits.com for a full list of seasonal and limited offerings. We highly recommend you take time to familiarize yourself with the instructions before beginning to brew any particular kit. The top section will always have your specs and the ingredients used to produce that kit. The recommended procedures always found in the left hand column are your step-by-step -step production notes to produce your beer. It will take you from brew day all the way through bottling day and finally to enjoying your new beverage. The brew day schedule will always be found in the bottom right hand corner of the first page. This will give you a list of timings for when to add your hops or any adjuncts that are included in the kit. The second page is a continuation of the recommended procedures and the step-by-step -step instructions for your kit. Please take note of the bottom right hand corner of this page. This is where you'll find your ABV calculator. You will use your hydrometer to calculate the original gravity on brew day and then take the final gravity when fermentation is complete to be able to do the calculation for your final ABV. Should you have questions about your hydrometer, please check out our hydrometer reading video on the LD Carlson YouTube page for further instructions. As we dive further into any Brewer's Best kit, we'll find large cans of liquid malt extract or bags of sugar-like substance called dried malt extract. Historically, beer is produced by steeping malted barley into hot water to convert the starches into sugars, which the yeast used to produce alcohol. This process is known as mashing, and it requires a good degree of skill and patience as it is time and temperature sensitive. The sugary liquid produced in mashing is known as your wort. Our Brewer's Best extracts are produced by professional brewers who concentrate the wort into an LME or a DME. These extracts come in a wide array of flavors and colors. However, in each kit we'll find specialty malts that will steep in a similar process to produce each style of beer. These malts will be put into a grain bag and steeped very similar to tea to get their color and their flavor specific to that style. In some of the kits you'll find specialty ingredients that require an extra process. Take for instance the American Pale Wheat. It requires a steep to convert for its pale two row, which is converting these starches into sugars. And next up we have the hops. Hops are essential to provide bitterness, counterbalancing the sweetness of the malt. They also act as a natural preservative for the beer. They can range in a wide variety of bittering powers and flavors depending on where they're from in the world. You'll notice on each bag that there is an alpha acid count. The higher the number here, the more bitter the hop. These are typically added in one to three phases for any particular beer. The first phase is the bittering phase. Those hops added at the beginning of the boil will not add a flavor to the beer. The second phase is your flavor phase. Those hops will be in there long enough to contribute significant amount of flavors. Then the third phase, the aroma hop, is typically added towards the end of the boil. Those will bring bright and vibrant hop aromas. In some kits you'll find they come with different ingredients we know in the brewing world as adjuncts. An adjunct is anything in the beer that is not water, hops, barley, or yeast. In this particular instance, with the Sweet Dreams Almond Coconut Stout, all three of the almond, toasted coconuts, and lactose would be considered an adjunct. You'll find that with adjunct kits, their extra ingredients are added per normal in the brew day schedule. However, with flavorings, you'll often have to look in the bottling day schedule for their instructions. 
The final ingredient used in any brewer's best kit for the brew day process is your dried yeast packet. You will find different yeasts based upon different kits, but their application is always the same. These will be added to wort cold to approximately 70 degrees. Be sure to note the ideal fermentation temperature range listed on each packet for your targets. Yeast can have a massive impact on the final characteristics of any beer. Should you want to branch out to explore the world of yeast with all the different strains available, check with your local homebrew shop. I'm sure they have plenty available that can be added to any of these kits. There's a wonderful world of flavors and characteristics out there in the yeast. Lastly, we move on to bottling day. The priming sugar will add fermentable sugars so the yeast can consume this and produce CO2. This will carbonate your beer within the bottle. Instructions can be found on your procedures. As for the brewer's best crown caps, we always include extra to account for those that will get away from us during the capping process. Don't worry, it happens to even the most experienced capper. Also, in our limited edition kits you'll find labels for your bottles. Lastly, we should touch on water which is not included in the brewer's best ingredient kits. We highly recommend that you do not use tap water as some of the chemicals added will help produce all flavors in your beer. On the same note, we do not recommend that you use well water due to the mineral content that it could possess, which would also aid in all flavors of your beer. Your brewer's best extract already contains minerals and salts added during the mashing process. Distilled water can suffice for this as it is a neutral water. However, spring water will work just fine too. It does have some mineral content, but it's not likely enough to produce all flavors in your beer. And there you have it for the brewer's best ingredient kits. As you can see, it's the same fundamental ingredients in any kit that you receive. It doesn't matter whether it's a flavored stout, a wheat ale, or an IPA. You'll be able to follow the instructions and understand what everything is going from kit to kit to kit. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time here at LD Carlson. Until then, cheers.